I just wanted to clear a few things up. Um, he is in prison. He is not in jail. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about that, but I can tell you for a fact he was in prison, not jail. Um, and there were small subtle signs prior to this incident, but none of them were anything that I personally noticed or recognized. Um, and I think like love is blind. I loved him so much and, um, wanted to marry him and we had a son together and I wanted to keep our family together. So I wasn't looking or thinking about those signs. Um, also there's a lot of people saying this is makeup. This is not makeup. This is a scab. I have red in my eyes from strangulation, a broken finger, and I have six stitches in my knee. So this is not a filter or makeup. Um, just so you see, this isn't a filter, um, and it is real. Um, this is one of my bald spots from where he pulled my hair out. You can see that that's not over here. Um, and I'm going to attach some photos as well. I, I know that I look literally the same in all of my videos because I have my hair up constantly because of the bald spots and there's a worse one in the back of my head. Um, but this is part one of the story. So um, this guy and I met at work a couple years ago and last year we ended up working together again. He asked me out one day. We started dating. Um, I moved with, moved in with him a couple months later. Things went really fast. We really loved each other. He was so great to me, so sweet, so kind, so loving. I ended up getting pregnant a couple months after. We've had some ups and downs. He's cheated on me before. Um, but ultimately, I was trying to forgive him and keep moving forward with him because I loved him so much and I was having his baby and it was worth it to me to try. Um, so come back for part two. Okay, so this is part two of the story of what happened to me. Um, so, yeah, so a couple of months ago, we moved to my home state, um, and I was pretty pregnant. Um, our relationship was going pretty well. He was cheating on me, though, um, so I guess it wasn't going well, <laughs> but it was hard. But, like, we still both loved each other a lot, or so I thought. Um, I had my son in December, and... He ended up actually leaving me for another girl for two weeks, and I took him back. Um, but there was never any signs of, like, physical abuse. Definitely mental, but I wasn't recognizing it because I was, like, so naive and so in love. Like, I was blind. Um, and the cheating continued. And um, last week, he got... He was playing a game with one of his friends that's a girl. I know her. We've talked before. And he called her sexy. Come back for part three. So about a week and a half ago, it was April 10th, he was playing video games with this girl that I know and I've talked to many times. She's really sweet. Love her. Um, such a good friend to me, too. And um, he called her sexy. And I didn't like it. And I expressed that I didn't like it. And we argued for like 10 minutes. And then during our argument, he backhanded me um, on the side of my face. And then um, the punches began, and um, just punch after punch after punch. Um, at one point, he punched me, like, here, like, right in the middle of my face, and I could literally hear the bones, like, scraping together and crunching. Um, it was really bad, and I had, like, a huge, um, like, cut in my knee that ended up needing stitches, and um, I didn't think it would need stitches, so I called a friend to come help me out, and... Um,